Welcome to Lockheed Martin Flight Services. Please press or speak your response at any time. Briefer. What state are you departing from or processing an OTAM for? Iowa. Please wait while I connect you with a flight briefer. Yeah, good morning. Uh, I have a profile for uh, November 733 Foxtrot Alpha. 733 Foxtrot Alpha. Uh, yeah, I got a 172. Yep, that's the one. Uh, can I help you? I just need a uh, full briefing. It'll be IFR today. We're going to be departing off of Kilo India, India Bravo. And we'll be departing at uh, 1730 Zulu. Cruising at 5,000, direct to Lima, Alpha, Foxtrot, Purdue University. And that'll be 2 hours and 30 minutes in route. All right. All right, so let's be staying the briefing. You ready? Yep. All right, right now for the adverse conditions, you do have an air base by far conditions along the entire route. The flight's going to be with us the entire day. Chilling below... Uh, 1,000, this was below 3, and precipitation is missed. We have an airman's for turbulence along the entire route of flight. This monitor turbulence below 8,000 feet, pretty much the entire day. And only a departure that's shown an airman for a monitoring between 2,000 and 8,000 feet. Breeder levels are starting uh, from the surface. And then pretty much, once you get airborne, I was pretty much from Cedar Rapids until your destination, you look at an airman for monitoring between the freezer level and one five thousand feet and says the freezer level starting from the surface up to six thousand feet in that area. That's it for the airman still convective activity and right now pilot reports. Got some pilot reports, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. I got one over by Cedar Rapids at uh, maybe one hour ago at one thousand eight hundred a B E forty reported temperature minus one and reported some light mix icing. That was the uh, runway two seven final approach. I got another one here about 10 miles east of Cedar Rapids. And this was like at 15390 Zulu at 2700. And E145 reported temperature minus 4, reported light rain icing. I got another one here over by Dubuque. One hour ago at 1800, a citation reported overcast. Temperature was zero, negative icing. They reported tops of the clouds at 3,400. I got one over here by Moline, about 10 miles uh, southwest of there at 1-4. Christian at 1-5-4-5, this is with 6,000 feet. A PA-27 reported temperature minus 4, reported negative icing. Tops of the clouds were at 4,000 feet, clear above. And let me see here. Again, one about three zero miles south of Midway at one zero thousand ten thousand feet. Our citation reported temperature was plus three. Light rain icing from one zero thousand up to one four thousand, and temperature was plus three and eight thousand feet. That's all your power reports for us. Note them. I'm just checking the runway closures, not into the parts of destination airport. And then right now for us TFRs. No TFRs along that route of flight. Okay. Uh, the weather radar, as far as any weather echoes right now, really nothing along your route of flight. Everything pretty much starts to dissipate for us, rain or snow. I am looking at a visible satellite. And a little bit, starting to break up just a little bit in the uh, India, India Bravo area, but it looks like the solid overcast is going to move from the west. Otherwise, right now, along that entire route of flight, you're looking at a solid overcast, and that is some low status, okay? Okay. So it looks like your tops are probably between four to 5,000 feet along the entire route of flight. Okay. Synoptic, synoptically, you just get that deep low pressure system in the northern portions of Illinois, cold front extending southward out of that. Showing your pressure gradients are strong at the surface, you can expect some strong winds out of the northwest, pretty much on departure along the route of flight. Yeah, so you can expect some gusty winds possibly out of the uh, southwest from your arrival into Indianapolis. All right, let me see here. Right now, current conditions. India, India, Bob was reporting automated. Surface winds of 32016, gust 16. Christian wind reporting automated wind 32016, gust 25. Surface visibility is 10. A ceiling of 1,500 overcast. Temperature 0, 2 point minus 1. Your forecast of weather right now as you climb out there. It looks like they're forecasting 2,500 overcast top to 7,000 feet. And they're forecasting surface winds out of 